Hey, it's me, Twisty Sieves, and anyone who hasn't been living underneath a rock for the past several decades knows that movies are an unbelievably huge part of our American culture. They help to shape and form many of our childhoods and are still influencing our lives today whether we realize it or not. Every year, new movies come out that redefine or raise the standards of storytelling, and 2018 is no different. With highly anticipated films such as Avengers Infinity War or Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom coming soon, we at Twisties Productions thought that we'd take a look at the movies we're looking forward to most in 2018. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Number 1. A Quiet Place while we are aware that Quiet Place was released a little over a week ago, I still felt it deserved to be mentioned on this list. I've only seen the trailers for it so far, and everything that I've seen makes it look like an absolute thrill ride. The premise of the movie is that this family lives in a post-apocalyptic world in which they must be completely silent in order to hide from supersonic monsters. The story was by Scott Beck and Brian Woods and was helped brought to life by John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. The movie itself looks absolutely terrifying, which is saying a lot because I don't typically like horror movies. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. Number two, Avengers Infinity War. Avengers Infinity War is a 10 year culmination of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As if you don't already know, it promises to feature over 70 characters, which should make for some very light hearted comedy. The film synopsis is as follows. Iron Man, Thor, the Hulk, and the rest of the Avengers unite to battle their most powerful enemy yet, the evil Thanos. On a mission to collect all six Infinity Stones, Thanos plans to use the artifacts to inflict his twisted will on reality. The fate of the plan and existence itself has never been more uncertain as everything the Avengers has fought for has led up to this moment. Honestly, you don't have to say anything else in order to get me any more hyped up, so I'll definitely be in the theaters the day this comes out. What's the most pain you've ever felt? Maybe the kind that leaves you more machine than man. Wait, no, stop! What in the actual ass? Dale, why, why, why are the visual effects not done? It's a metal arm! It's not like we're trying to remove a mustache! Number three. Deadpool 2. The first Deadpool was a huge success, bringing in almost $800 million. Now usually, I'm not a big fan of R-rated movies, mainly because they often depend on profanity and violence to tell their stories, and to me, that just doesn't make a very good movie. However, I was happily surprised with the first installment of the Wisecracking franchise. While there was a rather large amount of profanity, violence, and sexual content, the film first and foremost relied upon story and character development to get its point across. And to me, that makes a very good movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm equally looking forward to the coming sequel that will be released on May 18th. Number 4. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom there really isn't much to say when it comes to Jurassic World. It's Jurassic World with big scary dinosaurs and little scary dinosaurs and, and all sorts of scary dinosaurs. What else would you want in a movie? For Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Chris Pratt returns to his role along with Bryce Dallas Howard and Jeff Goldblum. The film is directed by J.A. Bayona, who is a Spanish film director, so I'm definitely interested to see what kind of an interesting flavor he'll give the film. You gave her wings and blasters. So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me. No, I did. Number five, Ant-Man and the Wasp. The first Ant-Man was a huge hit when it first came out, and when the trailer for the second installment of the mini-sized superhero hit the internet, I was completely caught guard because I had forgotten that sequel was even in the works. That being said, I'm still very much looking forward to the film that will be released on July 6th. Well, that's it. The movies I'm looking forward to in 2018. As usual, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click that notification bell to receive notifications of Twist C Productions' latest videos. Also, if there's something that you'd like to see us talk about on the channel, feel free to contact us at twistycs at gmail.com, or contact me on my Facebook or my Twitter. Links for that will all be in the description down below. And I'll see you next time when I have no idea what I'm talking about, because, you know, does anyone really? You can always find the